For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. Officially gas, powered by Manol. Ricky, brother. What's happening, bro? Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> it's always good to have you on, and you have brought something very, very spicy down today. Yes, guys. Uh, last time you were on the channel, you were here in an R34 Four, GTR, yeah. which was a madness. Yeah, 1200 that was your 1200 brake, 34 GTR. The year before, that was my purple 33. Yes, yeah, That yeah, was yeah. like almost a thousand brake. Yes. And uh, another year, another beast, bro. Another beast. You know? Another beast. Now, the crazy thing about this is, you've actually had this car, I think, longer than any of the other cars yeah. you've brought on, right? But it's kind of been in the background, right? Yeah, so I'll, yeah, I'll tell you why, guys. So basically, we imported the car in 2014, mm -hmm. and it was from a company called Endless Racing in Japan. And uh, it was the demo car. So the car originally came to us about 800 horsepower, just a fast, nice street slash track setup. And uh, we traveled there in 2014 in December, bought a load of like 32s, 33s, 34s. They were really cheap then. And we come across this 35 in Endless. And we actually went there to buy some 32s. And we asked them about this car, is this for sale? And the guy's like, nah, it's not for sale. He wasn't too sure because customers will come in, say they want 800 horsepower, they'll take them out in this car. Sure. It was the shop car. Sure. So if they sell it, yeah. then they have to build another one. So yeah, we yeah, really yeah, yeah. wanted something special because in the UK, there was a lot of 35s and we wanted something different, something unique. So this caught our eye. So we, we managed to persuade him. We negotiated and got a deadly deal out of him. <laughs> but one thing he did say is I can't ship the car straight away. I need to use it for a Tokyo Auto Salon. So the car came to us in August, 2015. Got ya. That's when the journey started. Okay, okay, so, okay. And now from 800, we have come a long way. On full kill, I would say it's anywhere between like 1500 to 1600 depending on what dyno you use and what calculations Crazy. but I know other cars in the UK other GTRs and Porsches mm -hmm. they use the same turbo setup yeah. the Garrett G35 900s and they make like 13 1400 wheel got you, got so, you, got so, you. so yeah that's so like 15, 16, this is making yeah. a lot of power and actually just recently this car has actually broke a record right we went to race wars and we done the one mile uh, standing mile yep. and basically we done 229 0.7 miles per hour so yeah it's crazy bro <laughs> For so sure. currently it does hold the uk's most fastest car on the standing mile any car any not car. just a gtr i no. mean there's faster cars out there guys and i'm not denying that some really fast mclarens and porsches are like 1800 yeah, yeah, yeah. brake 1900 brake. even the gtr there's 2000 brake gtr sure but i think someone needs to just have the guts to go and do it now let's talk about the spec of this engine because obviously you don't just bolt on some turbos no, no, and no. get to 15 1600 brake horsepower what is it taking bottom end top end valve train so we'll start off with the bottom end mm -hmm. guys so it's the original cast block we've uh, put like upgraded liners in there so you know the americans call it sleeved block sure so it could handle a lot more boost we've put a billet girdle in there so that's where the crank, crank sits girdle, yeah. we've put a billet crankshaft in it a cali's okay. ultra billet 3.8 crank okay. the reason why we went 3.8 is yep. because literally said we're doing a lot of high speed top speed runs the 3.8 is like to rev harder sure. than a stroked engine sure uh, the strokers tend to make a bit more power like if you go like for like set up it's a bit about 100 horsepower more okay. but the 3.8 is rev to like 9,000 rpm whereas the strokers are eight and a half somewhere there so okay. we've gone 3.8 sure uh, it's got hks uh, aluminium pistons okay. and it's got the cali's enforcer i-beam rods head wise what we've done to it so it's got uh, upgraded super tech valve springs and retainers okay. upgraded one millimeter oversized valves valve guides mm -hmm. and stuff like that so we've done everything that we can to the head uh, on the fueling side of things guys yeah, so fuel. we've got a 12 injector setup yeah, yeah. on our inlet manifold okay. uh, and basically so it runs as new 1250cc injectors sure. 12 of 12 them, of yeah, them. 12 of them. So we've got 2,500 CC injectors yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. per cylinder. And with the camshafts, what we had, so the cams originally came 
uh, from Japan as well. So the Tomai cams, okay. on the inlet side, we've got 256 and on the exhaust side, we've got 264s. Okay. So it has the response coming on and pulls hard on the top end. Nice, so nice, yeah, nice. that's like the old school Japanese style yeah, of okay, tune. Okay. But the cams worked really well with the car. Sure. So we kept the cams on. Turbo kit is a Boost Logic Ultra 35 spool kit. These turbos have actually done 244 0.1 miles per hour at VMAX before and they were actually on Sonic's car so thank you Alibai ah, for like, giving us these yeah. turbos to put on this beast originally I'll go into a thousand horsepower was everyone's goal yeah, yeah, but yeah. as the big boys Time's Rocky, Buzz, Ali there's so many big boy GTRs it's just you want more you want more yeah. and the more you go the more problems you have as well <laughs> but it's just life in it more you know? power more problems yeah bro. more power more problems so uh, transmission wise I know these transmissions can be a little bit of a tricky thing to get right and run yeah. right for a long time what have you done to you? so when the car actually came from Japan the car was actually on a stock gear set. I think they had some treatments and a few little cheats that they done to it, but it was running a lot of torque and Ian at Litchfield basically said the car, like we could break the gearbox anytime. Mm -hmm. So when we wanted, we went to VMAX and we done a few events and we saw it was maxing out about two, I think it was about 210, mm -hmm. yeah? And then after he was saying, if you want to do more than that, then you have to put a gearbox in it. Got so we've gone like full billet gearbox. We've gone through the Dodson route. Sure. Uh, and we've got obviously one to six billet gears, all the shafts, the pins, upgraded bearings, everything you can name. We've obviously done the clutch kit as well. So sure. it's a Dodson 16 plate clutch kit. Okay. Uh, the clutches are a little bit, you know, like grabby when you're moving off, yeah, yeah, but yeah, obviously yeah. with a car with upgraded spot. clutches, yeah, yeah. it's just like that. And to think as well, this car's 2008 model, it's like 16 eight. years old. But you, when you look at it, it, does it, doesn't, this car it look doesn't look like it's aged so well. You think of a you know? 2008 Japanese car. So it car is quite old technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously they've been just built, like manufacturers for these cars have been building parts, trying sure. to get them stronger. Then I was, I would be honest and say they're not bulletproof. Mm -hmm. Things do happen, but that's GTR life. For yeah, you. yeah, no, old ones, new ones, that's the same. You know? It looks, it looks mad. Tell us. Do about you know what? This car, obviously, when people look at it straight away, they know it's a JDM like spec car. Yeah. It, it's, it's totally different from any other one in the UK. Sure. They're like, I'll talk you through the exterior. So the, even the bumper, it's a one of one custom made from bumper in full carbon fiber from Endless in Japan. It's full carbon. Yeah, fiber. full carbon fiber. Oh, look, you could even see. It. Look, okay, can you see okay. we painted it grey on top? Oh, and it's actually man. full carbon. Yeah. There's not another bumper in the UK or in. The, even in the world so if i damage it i'm it's game over it's game over yeah <laughs> uh the wings we basically had the carbon wide uh, carbon wings uh, from cream developments sure. so they actually done the wings for us like nice, five nice. seven years ago bro man oh wow so it's been a long time wow. uh we've obviously got the big uh, te7 uh, volk racing te37 racing wheels these are the ultra blacks and you've got some big boy yeah, alkins big boy it. alkins come on guys <laughs> with a car like this you need to have the stopping power yeah. so i think the six pot at the front and at the back yeah. before we go past any further just want to say that man come Ooh. loud and proud with come the on, pride guys. in the middle we have to bring the deadly come trophy on. to show you guys <laughs> Love it. but yeah it's got obviously carbon top secret mirrors on it as well okay it's got carbon mm -hmm. roof on the rear end here so we've got basically the carbon spoiler with a litchfield carbon like a dry carbon flap at the back we've obviously done the facelift on the car as well the front lights and the back lights are like 2015 thunderbolt uh, lights okay, so yeah, that's yeah. why a lot of so people it looks a lot newer yeah they yeah, don't yeah, know yeah, like it's obviously sure. an old car even the interior guys like we'll quickly show you we've got the nismo Ricaro CS cool. seats uh, and what we done because I'll be honest with you bro my dream is a Porsche innit so I'm going to join the Porsche gang <laughs> one day but I wanted to match the seats with the suede Alcantara nah, how the Porsches are nah you've went in so, on this so even the uh, roof lining with the obviously double stitched wow. diamond yeah wow. man so we've gone in bro honestly man. bro this is one of the cleanest GTRs I've seen up, up close and personal yeah. most well rounded should I say yeah. so I know there's some nice GTRs out there but this is you've done well with this bro oh, thank you bro man it's been a long like nine year love hate relationship yeah, with this yeah, car yeah. this car's my baby yeah <laughs> <laughs> People who know me well, they know, basically I've got a nickname for this car. This car is called the Shunar Bangla. And what that means okay. is my golden possession. Oh, sick, yeah? sick. So basically, bro, I've not owned nothing for like nine years. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. had a lot of in-between like projects, yeah, which yeah, I've done yeah. and sold, but this one's just That's a life sentence in the UK, yeah, nine years. Nine bro. years you know? <laughs> All the madnesses you go through sometime in life, this car's been through the journey with me. Sick, so it's sick, helped sick. me get out of some problems. Yeah, but yeah, man. Sick, bro. Well, listen, I guess there's nothing left to, to say or do. I think let's hit the road, bro. Hit the road, bro. How you say the proof's in the pudding. The yeah? proof of the pudding is yeah. in the eating, bro. That's it. Let's, let's go. Eat. Ready? Let's go.
guys, so we are out in this crazy Nissan R35 GTR. It's been a long time since I've been in a big power GTR. And I think this is the most powerful that GTR, I might have been yeah. in, yeah, R35. So yeah, I know that we've got the smaller roads for now, but you, you were quite keen to show me this has got some agility to yeah, it too. Because a lot of the bigger power cars, they can't really go through the country lanes and really enjoy it. Okay. But this car, like you see, I'm not gonna like floor it out, but okay. just like the way it comes on. Like, okay. You know, it's on. It, 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 like, it's there pretty it's much, there, you don't like have to wait too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never driven this car on uh, race fuel on the road. <laughs> so it's the first time. We're about to find out together, yeah? Yeah, it's the oh, first man. time. a car that spins up. You know? Bro, this, like, honestly, again, my, my big power GTR kind of history of being in cars, like, it's not fast, but the yeah. ones I have been in have been very clunky and a bit horrible getting to that power yeah. feel like you're sliding all over the place. This felt dial. some big power GTRs. I haven't been out in too many big, big power ones. Fastest one I've driven is 1200 brake horsepower, but I've got to say, being around this car and being passenger, this has got to be by far the nicest and fastest that I've been in. I love bro. Like, and I'm not just saying that. Do, do a third gear, Paul, 
first goes to really your confidence. Okay. And are we full power right now? Yeah, full power. Right, let's roll into it. <laughs> bro! You see how that come on? Bro, do you know how nice the power comes in on this? It's, it, bro, it feeds in so nice. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's weird because you feel the turbo yeah, pulling yeah. hard, but it's not like nothing whack. Yeah, it's like, and it's, it's really just easy it's to really win. manageable and Yeah, 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 yeah. And it sounds lovely too with the, with the gearbox too. You can hear it. You can hear it whine yeah. and then when you come off the floor, yeah. you hear the wastegate. You, you hear the blow out, the wastegate, yeah, 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 the turbo yeah. flutter. It's mad because we're, we're in a 2008 car and we, when I look at a GTR, I always think it's a new car, but it's yeah. not a new car. This is almost getting they old. They came out in 2007 in Japan and then they were released in the UK in 2009. So they're like 16, 17 year old cars. It, bro, this is crazy. So in a way, I know this is going to sound so weird to everyone at home. This is becoming more older school JDM yeah. now. Yeah. Like, you know, it's almost in that it's category. Really, yeah, it's, it's really old, old like, almost 20, like yeah. it's coming to 20 years old. And obviously there's a lot of new school cars out there who put the power down well, yeah. but GTR will always have that crazy factor. All right, let's go. Guys, so we're gonna end the video here, bro. Thank you so much. Honestly, do you know Anytime, what? Like, brother. I'm glad I drove this car because like, I don't know. I, I kind of got a stigma in my head about big power GTRs. This completely blew all that out of the water. Yeah. I think the way this car has been built, how well rounded you've done it. Also, the achievements. Like this car has proved its metal out on the track. Like you know, yeah. what I mean, this is a. It's such a good example. This car's actually won uh, V Max three times. No way. So the first time when we went in 2015. Uh, it was basically it hit 210 okay. in the mile, and that was about 900 brake. Okay. Then we done 220 with a thousand horsepower. Okay. Then we done 225 with uh, about 1200 brake, okay. and now I've done like 230. 230. You know? So it's 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 run it's won a lot of big racing yeah, yeah, events. Yeah, yeah. It's not a drag car like a lot of people. I know they're doing eights and sevens and mm -hmm. stuff like that. This car on street tires it does a mid nine. Okay. On uh, slicks it'll do like a mid eight. Okay. But that's what this turbo kit uh, from Boost Logic are doing in America. Got you. Got you. Uh, but I'm not really looking but to go down thing. the drag scene. No, no, no. Like, you yeah. built it. For a purpose and you can feel it out on the road you know just going through the gears yeah. the way it's dialed i can tell and also you were saying that this got it's got a longer sit yeah gear, right? so this car's obviously got a dodson uh six speed billet gearbox okay. and basically it's got a longer longer final drive yeah, so yeah. there's two models one is like the shorter one and that might do maybe 210 miles per hour got you. then this one i've done 230 and i still got like 750 to a thousand rpm in it no so this gearbox possibly would do 250 miles per hour That's given insane. if you have the power and the yeah, space yeah, to yeah, do yeah. it ricky is one of the biggest petrol heads i've ever met and have hang around and he's always around some cool cars cool builds going on you've actually started a youtube channel yeah, yourself now tell, yeah tell guys them so it. guys basically a few months ago me and my mate uh, gobby we've basically opened up a youtube channel please give us a obviously subscribe please uh, like check us out it's called deadly tv 
double Y TV. Deadly. And uh, there's going to be so many like sick resto projects, big power projects, us racing this car at Race Wars. I want to give a quick shout out to everyone involved. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, Litchfield, Ian, and the whole team, they've been working on this car for the last nine years. Sure. They've built an epic beast, bro. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. this car is too deadly, yeah. yeah? And obviously, I've had RK Tuning help me just service the car throughout the years. He's an RB specialist, mm -hmm. but Ron Wayne's quite local to me. I just use him for the normal servicing stuff. Um, I've had, obviously, my boys at uh, Tints on Demand. They've basically cleaned the car up and they basically put the headlight tints on me, giving that smoke nice. look. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people, who, like around me, my friends, my family, Sonic, GTR, Alibi, you've helped me out so much. And just all the boys, Rocky, Buzz, these guys have pushed me yeah, to yeah, build yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have taken it this yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so That's like, love to everyone. I probably missed out a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. But you know what, guys, I appreciate everything that everyone's done for me with yeah, this yeah, project yeah. and I just can't wait to just enjoy it bro yeah, man. more events guys you can follow me on Instagram Ricky Hussein and you can see all the madnesses that I'm up to yeah? <laughs> well guys I'll leave links down below to everything he's mentioned massive shout out to everyone involved in this build hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one peace out ready <laughs>